In this video I'm going to be showing some of the modifications I've added to my CFS Color Upgraded K1 Max. I'll also be covering some tips along with some troubleshooting. This first adjustment or upgrade is changing the linked USB socket on the front to a USB extender lead, male to female. This not only removes the cable sticking out but also allows you to add a USB hub. Uh, I grabbed a pack of two of these off Amazon, one up and one down, it was uh, £4.79, I'll put a link in the comments. Now you can just plug this straight in, that's how I've got mine, I haven't got a USB hub on mine and it just tucks under the front neatly. Um, but this is a USB hub and I'm just showing how that works with it. Obviously it's not really the sort of USB hub you want on the front. There are plenty of different sized and shaped USB hubs so uh, no doubt there will be one that would fit against the front more aesthetically pleasing and uh, practical of course. Here I'm plugging in the USB stick and uh, as you'll see in a second that comes up and the files you've loaded on the USB stick you could just print from that. This is shown in the menu where you can find the setting for the filament purge should you need to adjust it after setup. This is in settings expert mode at the bottom. Mine was set up straight so it was just a case of inching it back and then saving it. Also back in the settings under self check you can calibrate the cutter again if you need to. Here I'm just showing some of the modifications I've added. On the top I created a taller riser, put a set of LED lights around the rim. This works perfectly with the CFS on top of the machine and really gives good clearance. On the side here is a tool holder I created, I'll put a link to that in the comments. And the only other tip I would give is if you have a problem once you've fitted the upgrade kit with the uh, USB stick is copy that to your computer and then on to another USB stick and hopefully that should work for you, it did for me. And that's it. Um, I've been using this, it's printed for over 200 hours and I think it's a great upgrade. Um, I'm really pleased with it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, it's always most appreciated and thank you for watching.